Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. What a day. I have recorded the video earlier and there was uh, some voice issues. So yeah, I hope uh, you can hear me loud and clear. All right, I'm ready with yet another video on TR to PR pathway. And this video is going to be really interesting. Reason being is that uh, I'm getting uh, to share a rejected case with all of you where the application was rejected and uh, candidate was able to provide uh, sufficient documents and ask for the re-evaluation and it got through with the ECOPR. So this is really amazing and I'll be talking in detail uh, after this. So this is our first timeline but before that in case if you have not subscribed to my channel I would highly recommend since I'm covering a lot of information on all the immigration programs specifically on TR to PR pathway. Federal skilled worker program is still on hold so as and when I get to hear good news about it I would be uh, able to give you more insight onto that. This is a screenshot onto the right side you can see Emma's case under friend stream IG. Now, she has applied uh, on July 26th at 10.37 p.m. And application was linked on January 24th. AOR was received on 25th January itself. And then you can see application was accepted and portal was done on April 7th. I'm finding it repeated because I've recorded one video earlier. <laughs> so this is like a cumbersome job now. Okay. Shivang's timeline uh, for stream B. This is a case I'm trying to indicate here. He has applied on May 6th at 8.28 p.m. Now, in this case, he has applied under friend stream, which means he was able to get the proof for his uh, you know, language, like the TEP form. And uh, even after that, he got to know that his application was rejected. Now, in this case, he was able to link up the application on July 16th and got ghost update so many of you are going through this speed you know and you have that uh, uh, understanding that now you're going to get the PR confirmation portal since the application is linked and AOR is not guaranteed in all the cases however his case was rejected and the reason it, it was mentioned to him is that the language was not met language criteria is not up to the mark so this was little surprising because he was able to prove all the documents so he called up IRCC on uh, October 1st and uh, he explained his point of view and uh, fortunately he got hold of good agent out here where he made a note for the re-evaluation. Now, uh, in case if you get hold of agent, just explain your situation. Sometimes they are they have an access, you know, they are provisioned to put the notes under your file, so they can certainly do that. Uh, so you can reach out to one triple eight two four two two one zero zero. That's a number. Now there were a couple of go, uh, you know, a couple of times he tried to contact IRCC uh, from October first to October twenty sixth. However, uh, he didn't get hold or uh, he didn't get any valid uh, proof just to uh, ensure that it's getting through now on october 27th uh, he got a letter from ircc stating that his application is getting reopened thereafter within a month time period he got the adr for pcc medical proof background declaration and payment for right for proof of uh, like permanent resident fee surprisingly he did not get any ADR for his language proof. So this was interesting. Uh, he submitted all the documents and got through the ECOPR. Now rejection case under this criteria is almost nil. So you definitely don't need to worry about. In case if you're waiting for your ECOPR or PR confirmation portal or AOR or ADR, it's likely to come guys. This has been one of the best immigration program in the history of uh, you know Canada immigration. And I remember uh, talking about when I was associated with immigration it used to take you know four to five years in receiving the landing papers because that was a paper-based process so right now you are going to get by December 2022 or there could be a chance where you might get in the first couple of weeks or months for next year but the way they are assessing, it's going to get through. And in case if you haven't received, there are a couple of things which I would recommend. Either first, wait for your turn. Don't have to do much of a thing and don't stress out. Secondly, you can always raise a web form with your concern. I have explained the process and I'll attach the link in the description box below. Thirdly, you can 
you know request for the GCMS note so when you request for GCMS note it's gonna take a month time period for them to reply back so if you have that time rather just wait for your turn instead of getting into loop of all these follow-ups okay this is uh, Andrea's case IG stream May 6 at 6 9 p.m. mountain time AOR was uh, like you know cancel when she called up IRCC this was a little surprising and she tried to uh, discuss with uh, the customer support and they did not have any valid answer to it after that she was able to link up the application you can see like on the very day when she got the BIL on December 22nd and there was a RCMP fingerprints again not everybody is going to get the requisition for RCMP fingerprints in case if you get that just submit you don't have to proactively provide that and then ECUPR came on April 6th. Okay, another timeline, May 6th at 11.30 p.m. Eastern time zone. There was no AOR and uh, application was linked. Within a day time period, uh, she got through the ADR for PCC. Now, uh, application was approved and then file got through and she got the ECUPR today. Okay, majority of you who's got the spouse outside of uh, Canada, you might get little longer time than that of this one. So in this case, uh, Ricardo's spouse is physically present in Canada. So medicals, PPR and biometrics would have been uh, quite uh, fast. There would not be any requirement for PPR since uh, you know your spouse is physically present out here in Canada so here is a submission date is May 7th at 8 40 a.m. and there was a requisition for BIL for spouse on April 4th so within a day's time period you can see medical were passed application was linked you know uh, got the ADR for PCC AOR was received and then PCC was also submitted yeah whenever you get any requisition from IRCC just try to submit that within the stipulate like within that time period if it's seven days or 30 days time period however if you think that particular document is going to take time just raise a web form or inform IRCC via uh, you know by by raising a web form or by uh, uh, linking up your account right there that you need more time your application would not get rejected however they are going to allot you more time so just keep little things in your mind so that there should not be any delay in your case Okay, this is a PR timeline for IG Stream Saurabh's. ECO PR was received on February 18th and PR card was linked to IRCC account. There was a first ghost update on March 15th. So it's advisable when you receive an ECO PR, try to link up your card to GCK right there. Now, in this case, uh, he got the information through second ghost update where it was mentioned that PR card was mailed on April 1st so when usually they mail you the PR card it may take a couple of days usually uh, it's four to eight days time period like four to eight business days so he was able to receive the PR card yesterday so you can see here like February 18th was a time when he got the ECO PR and he, it took him almost one and a half month so usually it takes four to like it, it usually take three to six weeks time period now coming back to major uh, query many of you have if you haven't received anything from IRCC not even AOR or ADR and you're planning to travel outside of Canada you can certainly do that guys and you don't have to provide another PCC or so if you're just planning for a week or maybe like a couple of weeks less than six months time period you don't need a PCC secondly if you receive an AOR and you then you are traveling and you get PR confirmation portal while in your native country I would recommend please update your photograph and address of wherever you want that PR card to be mailed for say if you are in India and you've got the PR confirmation portal. So immediately after PR confirmation portal, it will take a day or maybe a week's time period in receiving the ECO PR. So when you receive the ECO PR, it will take another three to six weeks time period in receiving the PR card. So if you are planning to stay back in India for another two months time period, make sure you post that address so that the PR card could be mailed to your Indian address and when you come back to Canada you can come it along and just get it checked through immigration authorities at the airport so this is also possible your case will not get rejected I would recommend at this point if you have received the ECOPR try to hold on to your traveling so that you can plan 
after receiving the PR card and celebrate it with your friends and family. <laughs> All right. I hope this video has been little help to you. This is uh, me uh, signing out. And if you have any questions, you can always write back to me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future updates. Till then, take care and stay safe, guys. Bye.